Welcome back everybody, Viking18 here. Hope you guys enjoyed the first video that I did, which was the three, was um, the t um, tutorial for on the clarinet. I'm bringing you guys back episode two, and I'm going to talk more about each, um, I'm going to be talking about each um, step with your clarinet. I'm going to be talking about um, all the different things. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a brief introduction here. And then we will get started. So guys, um, that was pretty much a brief introduction. So if you want a uh, little remembrance of what we did yesterday, I taught you guys the, I told you guys about the wooden reed that you that you need to use that that you use. I told you the uh, beginning type reed of what um, excuse me, of what um kind you need, like the thickness, sorry, it's like really cold here, so I'm like, it's kind of bright out there too, and all kinds of different things. So today we're going to talk about, like I said, the different types and the different um, things you use. So you see here, this is your mouthpiece, your barrel, your first three um, fingerings, your last three fingerings, and then you have your um, end piece. So you just hook them all up together, if I can remember how, and you can see they hook up like a cork, because in your because you have a clarinet case, and you take it apart, then you put it together, and then you're ready to play. So today, I think I'm going to be going over a few different little things about your um, different rhythms, your different type of slurring and tonguing. So I've got a great example here in my um, in one of my um, books. Let me quickly get that for you guys. I just thought about this. I'll actually use I'll actually go and do an example out of both of my books. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm going to play a quick little tune. I'm not gonna play playing the whole song. I'm just gonna pick a song that I can quickly just demonstrate the difference with turning with turning with tonguing and slurring. I'm gonna do one song with tonguing and one song with slurring. Makes sense. So for this one, I'm going to do this. So this is a very, um, and let me quickly um, tune my clarinet, which when you want to tune, you want to put your, put right fingers, all your fingers, all your right hand down, which is all hands, all fingers on the holes, and then you're just going to want to blow a normal G. There you go. That tunes your clarinet. And if you're asking, wait, why would you want to put your right hand down? It's because it gives you more, um, it actually tunes your clarinet. Because you can actually kind of tell. Did you hear that? that da, 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 da. Well, that's your, that was me putting, if you want to see, I can do it. I can do it like this. You can actually see my hands going up. You hear how there is a you can also see how every time I put my hands up it went do because you're tuning your clarinet. That's a good way. Also, if you want to do, you can do a very high C. So go. And that you can actually hear a diff you can hear your difference. Also, you can also do um a low C, high C. Like that, and then you can do all kinds of different ones. But I'm gonna show you super quick what a tonguing song would be like. So here you go. So if you hear that I was doing, 
how you could hear it. It was kind of it was it wasn't choppy, but it was. That's because you take what our music teachers always tell us. Is you take the tip of the you take your tip of the tongue to your the tip of your tongue to the tip of the reed, which you're just going to be pressing your tongue very gently on your reed. So it's not a puff of air like. You can tell actually if I take if I do the, just the barrel, you can actually hear it. Hear that very that's just the barrel and it makes a very very annoying squeaking sound, but you can actually hear that it's not just air. You actually have to use a little bit of your lip muscle of your tongue muscle. Lol, I know down in the comments I'm gonna hear that's what she said. Yeah, I know. Um. Yeah, you know, I didn't pick a really good instrument. Well, I picked a really good instrument, just not for that. She says, you know. But, um, also, if you do, and then that's your tonguing. Now, when it comes to slurring, I'm going to give you an example just with a G, and then I'm going to do a song. Then I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to do a very quick demonstra uh, demonstra um, demonstration. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tongue twisted today. I've been up since 7:45, and I'm kind of tired. So, um, I'm gonna use um this um one, which I very much love. Um, unit or min menuit? I can't remember how it's spelled, but it's but you'll hear it. This is a this is a constant. I'm gonna go um. If you remember from our last video, a G is open and a C is all three in the back hold down. So I'm just gonna do that. Go. That is a slur. That is where it's very constant, smooth sound, and you have a constant. You don't have a um, dud dud because a tongue is. It's very smooth. It's not choppy, and it's just right out there. So if you want a song that, but this is, um, but let me show you this one, this song, and it's, I played that last note wrong, but that is what a slur is, and it's da 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 da, you're not going. It's not making very very choppy, but the slur it's very smooth. It's very mellow. In most of your classical music songs, you're gonna have a very slow and very you're gonna be slurring most of your time. Now I've done uh, Bohemian Rhapsody uh, from um, I believe I can't remember who did it. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. But you've actually done that song. It's very um, you know. The Galileo, 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 Galileo. Well, when you put it all together, it's a very, very. So it's very choppy, but it's still a fantastic song. Um, and it's actually not bad. Also, I can also show you a song that has mixed. So, everybody, actually, I'm gonna do this one song. Everybody knows it. It's Silent Night. This has slurs and tongues. So here you go. See, now I know I haven't played Silent Night. Um, if you know the song, Silent Night, if you know that song, um, I never really listened to the song or played the song before, so that's why I kind of messed up a few times. But um, with the unit, 
I was actually going very slow because it's actually tongued and slurred. So it's going. <laughs> I accidentally did that because I uh, never gone through that one measure. And that measure's a little hard. Now I'm gonna let you know this that you got to practice your bumming off. Because if you don't, you're gonna forget. Like I do homeschool and I actually forgot some of my stuff. Now I can't tell if I haven't picked up a clarinet in two years, I couldn't remember. But if I start playing it, I can remember everything that I've done. And there's all kinds of different things, like, um, and also, um, I'm going to show you these two, I'm going to show you this one book, if you can see it here, I love playing on this book, because it's got a lot of great music, it's got, um, The Three Musketeer, it's got, um, da 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 it's got America Beautiful, it's got, um, some really fun, um, exercises that you can do. Um, especially if you play on, like, if you're doing, um, uh, like, um, all kinds of different things, like, in the back of your, of your, um, playing books, or your music books, I should say, um, fucking, let me open this and show me, this is my old, this is my middle school and high school book, um, these, this book is very good, because it has, warm-ups, it has practices, it has exercises, it has your uh, chromatic, which these are your chromatic scales, and then they have all of your scales that you play. They've got a gr lot of great stuff, and I think this book was only, um, I can't remember the um amount for this book, but it's foundation. It's called foundation for um secure sup uh, um performance warm ups and um. Techniques for Your Band by um, Richard Williams and Jeff King. It's a very great book. I really do enjoy playing, uh, using it for my warm-ups. And um, even when you're not even in a band, if you just want to go and say, yo, mom, dad, or whatever, whoever you live with, whoever your guardian is, say, you know, I really want to take up an instrument, and I haven't done a lot of scale with, like, if you want to play the guitar or drums and stuff like that. It might be a little girlish, but the clarinet is so much fun to play with because with the clarinet, you can actually make up your own stuff. So if you're very familiar with a lot of different things like the wedding song or uh, all kinds of different rhythms, you can actually play them. And I like to just go and just play random stuff like... <laughs> Sounds, I can't remember what this sound sounds like. It's um, but anyways, going out of that, I would in, I would definitely think you would if you guys would enjoy this. I know a lot of people say, oh well, you know I don't like playing music. Well, you know what? There's a lot of people that do, and I'm not saying this just for guys because I'm a guy. Also for women or for girls that like to want to play an instrument. There's the flute. There's the oboe. There's also the clarinet. Um. If you're ever given an opportunity to play on clarinet, totally go to a music store. If they, like, allow you to actually try out an instrument, totally try that kind of stuff out. Next video I'm going to do, there's a lot of things with your um, mouth. I can show you that actually very quickly, and then I'll go on with it tomorrow. You have to, if you can see here, I'll, sh I'll go closer to the camera. This is where your, um, um, this is where the reed will lay on on your lip and you have to make it and if you get a music teacher and also you can practice this if you're tight enough you can go where is it, where is it? And it'll shake your mouth it'll shake your body but if you got a very tight grip it's gonna be very hard to wiggle your clarinet I 
I'm not very good at it because I never really did that. I was told, oh, you need to straight, you know, straighten up your mouth and everything like that. But I, it's okay because it, it's not bad. But um, please like and subscribe and also link down in the comments if you guys want me to do any songs. Um, link them down in the description. Now there's some songs that I won't be able to get a hand up because I don't have the music books or I can't find the music. But I will definitely try for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions. Please um, link them down in the description. I do have a Twitter. Um, it's uh, Joseph. It's uh, Joseph Nossel. Um, I think it's like Joseph Video Game. I've got to go relook. And um, if you subscribe to my channel, you can find my Twitter. So guys, I've been Viking18. You have been YouTube. I hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later.